Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Reprints Cradle. Today I am home on a Tuesday. I'm not sub-teaching today, but I would love to do Julie's tag. So hi Julie. Um, you have done your tag a few weeks ago, I think, and I never got around to do it. I'm so sorry, but I'm happy to do it today. Uh, life has been busy, busy, busy for me, guys. But um, I'm here today. The sun is shining. The mood is good. Spring is coming. We still have a lot of snow. But it's melting. <laughs> so that's good. Anyways, I'm here to do Julie's tag. And she has eight questions. Now, these questions I've done in the past, so people who are here on my channel who have been with me for years and years will know what my answers are. But for the new people and the new subscribers, I would love for you to hear my answers. I also have my old phone here, so <laughs> I'm so happy to just look down, read the questions and share with you any um, pictures that I might have but I need my reading glasses too oh and I have the twins with me I have the twin A and twin B and they are in a basket let's see uh maybe I'll just turn your eye I can't lift the basket it's kind of heavy but I'll show you what they look like Okay, you'll see in the edge of the tripod, but that's okay. Um, this is my basket that I keep them in. Now, there is my twin A and my twin B. I used to have two twin A's as twins, but I gifted one of my twin A's away to a friend of mine, Brie. Hi, Brie. I know that she has notifications on the channel and she watches my videos. So, hi, Brie. <laughs> um, I gifted her one of my twin A's. So, sorry about that. Um, I had two twin A's and this is my twin A. And I named him Wyatt Coleman. And he was my very, very first custom baby that i asked wendy to do uh this guy is made by wendy of weeby dolls and my other twin a was also made by wendy of weeby dolls in fact i named her wendy christina um but i gifted wendy to brie and she has more of the red hair and this is wyatt and i wanted to keep him he is my very first custom ever i'll probably never ever sell him or gift him or <laughs> anything like that um this one here is my twin b and her name is caitlin renee she was named by my son brendan when he was younger Back when he didn't mind me uh, <laughs> being in videos for my channel. But uh, um, the thing is, they're not reborn by the same person. And you could tell that they're different complexions. Um, I know the twins can, like, be, uh, one could be dark and one could be light. Because I grew up with twins. Um, one was dark haired and one was blondish hair so i know it's possible but their complexions are so different though so this one here i just fell in love because she is pale like my family and she has a black hair which is most of my family brandon brandon was born like super super blonde like even more blonde than this so what do you guys think could they be twins still i love your input so let's get to let's get to this okay i'd rather just have you one on one with me so hopefully you don't mind that you can't see a baby in the picture but i would love to start this tag since i get my phone on find the pictures okay the tag is called what you may not know about me <laughs> like I said, people who have been with me for a long, long time will pretty much know all of these answers. But for the people that don't, 
let's do this. Number one, my current or previous job. Currently, thankfully, I am sub teaching, substitute teaching. I have been on terms and subbing for a couple of years now, but I've been a teacher, a full on teacher. Somebody asked me if I was a, a teacher's aide or an actual teacher. I am an actual teacher. I have my Bachelor of Education, graduated university in 2000, and um, it was rather late. That was also the year of my son's birth, Jeremy, my eldest. He is in university too, by the way. But um, <laughs> I wanted to be a teacher since I was like eight years old. I always enjoyed school. I always enjoyed learning. And learning is fun. I've had a few teachers that were learning. They just don't make learning fun the world is mysterious it's so interesting and if if it's interesting you want to learn about it but if it's not interesting then but anyways i love being a teacher and um i grew very ill a couple of years ago back i forget how long ago but um i was feeling <sighs> People could have said I could have went on medical leave, but um, I think that the kids deserve a well, healthy teacher, not one who is on medical leave, medical leave, medical leave. No, they don't deserve that. They don't deserve teachers coming in and out and who's my real teacher, like what's going on? Like, so I resigned. Um, looking back, I kind of wish that I did go on medical leave just because of my financial employment st stability but but deep deep down I am glad I did what I did no regrets because the kids do deserve like somebody who's healthy and who's around all the time so uh, but I got better and I wanted to get back before I went back into teaching I decided to follow my dream of doing home daycare and I did that and I love the kids and it was really fun but it wasn't my dream <laughs> so I quickly ended that when I could there was an the opportunity where the kids in my care were leaving so I thought ah, I might as well just drop everything and go back into teaching so I did but the only positions I was able to get are like terms or subbing substitute teaching I can't wait to get back in permanently um, the thing is I was working with a certain uh, school division for years and years and years like over 16 years and I loved it um, but it's over an hour away by highway and the way that gas prices are it's just totally not real so i am happy very happy to be substitute teaching in my own town in my own community i'm only 10 minutes away from my like this couch to the chair of my classroom so can't argue that right so, um, other jobs I've done, like, of course, babysitting, but I used to work at a super thrifty drugstore and I was a cashier and I was also a manager of photo go, photo go. It's a film developing, um, uh, corner of the store. <laughs> you know, Walmart, they have those machines, those computer self machines. Well, back in the day, I used to process film, like back when they had cartridges, and I would be the one that would strip the film, add it to the machine, and develop film. And I had a part-time crew underneath me that I was in charge of, only like at least four girls, but I think there was up to six. And it was so cool, I was in charge of like, I could price, um, the film what I wanted 
Of course, I needed approval from my main boss of the store, the one who owned the store, but pretty much he let me do um, whatever I wanted, so I loved it. The thing is, though, I was working with, like, let's see, two, four, six, seven, nine different chemicals every day because I had to refill the football machine. So I thought, you know what, exposing myself to all these chemicals, how dangerous is that? I was never wearing a mask. I didn't wear gloves. So um, I would splash myself. I mean, it was probably harmless, but back then... I was also, like, what if I was pregnant? Like, <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so that was before I went back, like, to university to become a teacher. Um, I also did a job. I was cashier at a, a confectionery store. It was so cool. Um, and they had the biggest magazines, like, a huge, like a library. There was one day I was so bored, I counted over a thousand different titles of magazines that they owned, and they still kept going. So they had probably a good 1,500 different magazines that in this store, and books and novels. So it was really cool. I really liked that job. Um, anything else I did? Oh, I worked at daycares before, a couple of daycares. Um, but yeah, the majority of my career is teaching. Um, how long is that? I was going to promise myself I'd make a, a short video, but <laughs> number two, um, one personal goal for 2022. One personal goal. You know what? I really want... Okay, I own land. I own 32 acres of pristine land. It's off the grid. All it is is a road leading in, a gravel turnaround, and I wonder if I can... I wonder if... Um, okay, I'll be back. I'll show you. Here I am. There's white stuff on me the whole time. <laughs> Didn't you guys say anything? <laughs> okay, oh... I have to. I signed out of my Facebook like a long time ago. So let's see, nine. Oops. Yes, I have a lot of I can't even see that. I need my glasses. Let's see, nine. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, where are you? And well, okay. <laughs> okay, this is me on Facebook. What? I can't believe they did that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. There was, oh my goodness. You know what happened? Because of my phone, um, I took everything off. And I put back on Instagram, so I thought, you know, because I can borrow both phones and show you pictures. Um, and then I added Facebook, re-added Facebook, but for some reason, the Facebook took the profile of my Instagram. And the thing is, my Facebook is my personal account. It has nothing to do with the Reborn hobby. And my Instagram is my Reborn hobby. And they mingled. So my profile picture, ever since I re-added Facebook on this phone, has been my, my profile picture for my Instagram, which is my very first Reborn doll, Emily. <sighs> I'm like, quick, I gotta change it. I don't want everybody to think I'm <laughs> putting my doll as my profile picture. Oh my goodness. It was... <laughs> okay, by the way, just to let you know that people do know about my reborn hobby, but I never really show the dolls. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, thank goodness it's during the day. I hope, I hope none of my flowers. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Whoops. Slip the finger. Was it Meta? Meta just joins all the mall together now. <sighs> okay. I have to find my. I'm trying to show you pictures of our land. Oh, a goal. Oh, yes. A goal for 2022. Okay. We own this land and we spend many, many days out there. We love it. Um,. I tried spending the night out there uh, years ago and I got, I got scared. <laughs> I'm scared of bears. Oh my goodness. Okay. I just want to view this. Okay. I just want to view it. This is our can't wait to get. See, all that is is a road leading in. I have videos of it too. I should link them. But a turnaround and then a bush. The thing is, we are, well, Francis is building a camper shack. That's my second channel, is Camper Shack. And um, so we. I would love to have a seasonal out there, like off-grid seasonal. I mean, we have solar panels. We have a camper. <laughs> we have a generator. We have, like, all these things. We could have a seasonal out there. But I'm so scared of the bears because there's no neighbors anywhere around. I mean, 32 acres of nothing. Across the highway, there are people, but they're deeper in. Um, I, I have like, I wish I could show you. I wish I had the time to just like, hey, let's, let's look through pictures. This is one from October. See, it's just that turnaround. We like, and that's, I bring stuff out there just to spend the day. There's Eric with our fire pit. That's years ago. Oh, that's Clearwater Lake. It's like super, super, the clearest lake in Canada and the second clearest lake in the whole world. Um, it used to be the third clearest lake in the whole world, but it now it's up to second clearest lake in the whole world. And when there are bugs, we take the dining tent if I could, and yeah, we those are just pelicans. That's Eric, and here he's younger. Oh, that's when I have my van. I have my own. Oh, his bike is still out there. <laughs> it's me. Is that me in the hammock? Yeah, I just we love it out there, and I would love to get over my fear of bears and spend the night. That is a goal for 2022 to spend a whole night on the land in our camper we have the camper we never brought it out there because the road going in is very narrow and there's a curve and a big ditch along the side so i'm so scared because i can't i'm not that great at pulling the van and let alone backing up with it so i can't even do that so that's a goal, though, to get the camper out there. Okay, so how long did I answer that question? Oh, my goodness. Okay, now I have to go back and find her other questions. Okay, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Number three, hobbies aside from dolls, obviously. The outdoors, camping, hiking. I grew up at the lake, at that particular lake. When I was four years old, 19, when we were forced to move off the community, I grew up in a community of only like 12 families at the most. There's probably less than that. 
woods and the entire backwoods was our yard. <laughs> uh, my dad is a retired meteorologist, so we are stationed in government funding houses and um, we lived at the airport. And there were the people who were only allowed to live at the airport were government employees of either meteorologists, there were um, firemen, uh, there were like radio control people for the planes and mechanics and that's it if you like you couldn't just live there because you wanted to live at the lake but um I loved it it was a lovely community they tore everything down there's still um let's see I go okay wait I'm gonna they tore everything down, but there still is like the old roads and there's still fire hydrants out there. So it's kind of like an abandoned area, which is kind of cool. Um, I used to hike there all the time and just, you know, day camp there, but we were kicked off one year. And we used to go like across the highway towards the lake and then they started building lots for cabins and we we're running out of places so finally we decided to buy our own land so no one can kick us off and we can do whatever we want and it's wonderful it's wonderful i love it i feel like i did this before deja vu really <laughs> um I am a mess. Obviously, I can't talk and do something at the same time. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, like, for instance, I finally found an album. April 14th, 2012, Spring Hike. And, yes, we still have snow. But, I mean, this was across. Oh, is that all I have? We've been there a few times, but. See, I love doing stuff like this and just hanging out, enjoying nature. Oh, that's Brendan. So, but one day we went there and there were markers, lot one, lot two, lot three, lot four. And we're like, what's going on? But yeah, people now, now fast forward to 2022, there's a whole bunch of new cabins and houses down there, so can't really go there anymore <sighs> blah, blah, blah. some people are saying we don't mind their ramble so thank you because <laughs> i do ramble a lot thank you guys for sticking with me it means a lot okay <laughs> um hobbies aside from dolls okay i told you about that I love hiking and um, you know what I used to love to do when I was younger, I used to love putting together first aid kits. And as I grew older, I loved doing like, uh, survival kits. Uh, they're called bug out bags, uh, emergency preparation kits or preparedness kits. Um, I can't really pronounce some words correctly, so... <laughs> But I can spell them. I just can't say them that well. Pre pre preparedness? Preparedness or preparedness? Preparedness? Preparedness. I don't know how you say it. But I know how to read it. <laughs> um, emergency kits. I love apocalyptic type situations. I feel... Like, it, as sad as they are, as devastating as they can be, I feel like I want to survive and I will help people survive. We will get through this. That's, I love it. The adrenaline. Well, my father is a meteorologist, right? So I grew up with a passion for wild weather, extreme weather, and how to deal with it. Um, the military is... A passion of mine I didn't really attend 
the military. Oh, I almost did. I was this close to going to the military. <laughs> but, you know, um, I don't know. I just, I, I have a huge passion for it. I have family members, uncles, grandfathers who were <laughs> in the army. So, um, I just love discipline like that. So, I'm getting a message on my phone, but that's okay. I'm almost done. I'd rather it finishes really quickly. Okay, number four. Favorite relaxing activities. You know what? I love sitting on my phone and just playing games. And what kind of games? Here's one that I've been into a lot lately. Airplane chefs. And I love... It's like cooking, time management games of cooking. Um, I'll show you an example of one. It's okay if I lose a guy. Uh, but I love Diner Dash uh, games like this. Like where you have to like prepare. Like cook all these things and serve them. And I go really fast, and I try and do, like, and, like, you go up and you have to serve these people food. Oh, I love, I love these kind of games. <laughs> so, like, there's a Hotel Dash, there's a Crazy Chef, there's a Happy Clinic, the hospital ones, a Food Truck, Diner, like, oh, there's all these different games. I love, I love time management games and puzzle games. I have puzzles. Like, you know the pipes we have to swivel them to make, like, water go through? I'm really good at those. I love those. <laughs> or these kind of games. These are just, like, puzzle. You have to put all these colors together into one tube. So it's kind of like... Like that. And then if I'm stuck, I have to figure it out and try and, I don't know, logic. I guess they're logic games. I love those kind. <sighs> I watch movies. I'm a movie fanatic. Um, and TV shows. Uh, you know what? I love all kinds. Most kinds. Um, so, yeah. But I guess playing games. Just sitting back here in this chair, I have a blanket that I love to cuddle with. So I cuddle, if I'm, sometimes I cuddle, maybe not all the time because it depends on who's home. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> okay, next question. Do you prefer city, country, or remote living? I am in the country. I would love remote living. I need to know more though. This, this summer is the first summer that we're going to plant. In a raised garden, so that is another goal to raise to grow our own produce, vegetables. I would love to try. When I was little, I used to have a garden and I took care of it, but with my bad back now and the sun, I can't stand the sun at all. So I need a raised bed or a bed that is like movable or sheltered somehow. I'll figure it out, I'm sure. But, um, however, when I go into the city, I feel really excited because the tall buildings just blow me away. <laughs> See, we don't have tall buildings where I live at all. Um, I'm six hours north of a city. And, and I mean, the city in the south is very small. <laughs> it's not even big in Manitoba. So, I love buying in the city I love living in the country and I want to try in the future remote living remote living for weekend getaways and the summer getaways number six my nationality well I know my biological mother is Inuit 
My father is white, white. He has black hair too and fair skin. He looks Italian. <laughs> but um, he won't tell me exactly. I'm pretty sure we have French in there. He just says, we're white, we're white, we're white. My dad is R.G. Bunker. And if you don't know who R.G. Bunker is, I'm not going to really get into it. Because R.G. Bunker in this day and age does not fly very well. So people who know who R.G. Bunker is and his thoughts and beliefs is my dad. Oh, I've been coughing. I don't stop you. <clears throat> so yeah, all that I know is that I'm Inuit and white. <laughs> we could be a mixture of so many different nationalities because obviously like people say I look Italian, I look Lebanese, I look Greek. <laughs> and one person said I look Asian. <laughs> so, I don't know. Number seven, favorite meal and dessert. Ooh, I am a queen of making pizzas. I am excellent at it. I love my pizza. I make all meat most of the time. I'm just going to my phone to show you. Actually, we love lots of food. We're, uh, Francis is a retired chef of 20 years. And I am, I love cooking and baking. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. For instance, here's some, okay, the color is really off. That's barbecue chicken with fried, it's simple, simple. But this one is my pizza. Oh. Pizza. And the color is off. But. I love my pizza. It's just interiors of our tent trailer. That's how tall my son is. Oh, oh I'm starting to cough. That's how tall my... This is one of my favorite movies. Oh, my... My throat is really starting to bother me. I've been yammering so long. My throat's getting <laughs> So yeah, it's pizza is my favorite meal, but my absolute favorite meal. Sorry, my throat's starting to get itchy. Um, I do have allergies. That means spring is coming. Um, <clears throat> shake and bake chicken Italian with mashed potatoes gravy. And we call it biscuits and gravy, but it's really just um, soda biscuits soaked in gravy. It's just a family thing. This <laughs> is from my grandmother's side. Soda biscuits and gravy, crackers and gravy. <clears throat> Not too many people have heard of that. It's so good. Corn and cheese and pickles on the side. <laughs> that is my favorite meal. Uh, my favorite dessert is something called hot fudge pudding and it's so delicious it's kind of like a fudge brownie but not as tough <clears throat> and but it's kind of like those mud cakes those chocolate mud lava cakes it's just like that but it's called hot fudge pudding way before it comes from our generations way before lava cake came out but it's delicious and oh, I'm getting stuffed up in. Um, number eight, the favorite types of sports and exercises. Ah, oh, when I haven't done anything lately, you know what? Okay, not too many people know this. When I was around 16, 17, 18, all the way till 20, in my 20s, I used to lift weights and aerobics and I was really good at it and when I was younger living in the airport I used to love climbing trees running through the bush I wanted to be Rambo I really did Rambo was here. and what happened to the the sun just came up <laughs> yeah, that's better anyways I loved 
And you know the military training, like, or, like, all these different... Oh, I'm starting to cough a lot. <laughs> I have to go. My throat is so sore and itchy. I'm getting really... <clears throat> I'm getting stuffed up. Fever exercise. <laughs> I can't even talk. <clears throat> Favorite exercises. Oh my goodness. I don't really watch sports on TV. I'd rather watch movies. <laughs> um <clears throat> I stopped. Oh my goodness. I stopped doing weight training and aerobic training when I met my ex husband is dating. <clears throat> Because I was too shy to work out in front of him. <clears throat> and I was with him all the time back then. Sorry, I'm just coughing a lot. I need to go and stop talking. <clears throat> but um, I loved running. I was really good at running. Uh, when I had kids and I stopped working out. I gained a lot of weight. I used to be so, so skinny. <clears throat> I only have a couple of pictures of myself. Um, <clears throat> oh, I wish my... <clears throat> I tried to... <laughs> I was just coughing so much. I'm sorry, I'm so being distracted here. Let's see, old airport pictures. Um, I don't have a lot of me, just a couple, but I'll show you, I'll give you an idea of um, <clears throat> I have a ton of pictures. Here's some from the air, that was from my bedroom. This is after when we, that was, okay. I'm getting distracted. Where's that picture? I don't know if you can tell. But like I was. That's muscle. Muscle. And that's me. Holding up my cousin. <laughs> it's kind of blurry. <clears throat> but. I don't know if you can see. The, my leg muscle. And my skinny waist. I used to wear belly shirts. Yeah, I used to lift weights, and I look so great. Oh, I miss those days. Can't really see. It. Somebody took this, but you could see if you could see my calf muscles. Not really. <laughs> That's a bad picture. They're all poor pictures. Uh, here's me just. Being shy. So yeah, I have to go. I can't stay here. I'm just coughing up the storm, but <clears throat> when I was younger, I used to like playing badminton personally, but um, I don't watch sports on TV or anything like that. So anyways, guys, I really have to go. This is my shirt for my second child, Camper Shack. If you are interested in my journey with my, like, non-reborn related, I do have some videos on my reborn channel where I go to the land with a doll, but my camper shack channel is just us in the bush with our building our camper shack. It's just a, a pallet, using pallets, free pallets as wood. <coughs> I'm so sorry, oh my goodness. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really have to go. I hope that you're all having a great day. And sorry it took so long. I thought for sure I'd do a quick video, but obviously I didn't. <laughs> Anyways, guys, love you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, very, very soon. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys.